All right, folks, hello and welcome to a modern stream. Okay, I cave in, I cave in. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can uh, continue the fight against the stupid Valkydex. Uh, this is effectively a dead format. In fact, I am currently playing a virtually banned card in my deck. Uh, but I still think that if you're playing on playing on this weekend, uh, this weekend's PTQ, uh, you like you're gonna have to do something like that. If you're planning to not play a Valky deck, you need to be playing Udo, in my opinion, or you need to be playing either Burn or, or other, other, another one of the aggressive decks that actually have a shot against the Valky decks. Um, but uh, if I were to be playing in the weekend, I would be playing something like this. Uh, it's pretty sad that like I'm basically tuning a deck that is completely worthless. And that was kind of like my argument against playing against playing modern this week. Uh, but people seem to still be interested in the format, uh, so I will, you know, I will be doing some some playing as well. Um, a couple of things that you see in the list like this. Uh, this is not something that you will often see. Like four Udo, four Teferi Time Raveler, four Force of Negation. Um, this is obviously because of the Valky deck. We have we're making a lot of concessions in our deck list uh, for the Valky deck. So the Fairy Time Raveler is a great uh, tool against them. It's not unbeatable. Far from that, because they have their own forces. They have Brace and Borrower, their own Cryptic commands. Uh, they even have Omnaths and sometimes their own Uros even. Um, but it allows it allows you to basically fight them on. Um, on an even uh, on an even basis, right? Like if you play your Teferi, your opponent is going to need to play uh, any spell in order to deal with the Teferi. So you can force of negation whatever they play, right? It's not like they can fight back. It's not that they can cascade, and they cannot table to you with the Teferi in play. So um, once we are fighting on the control axis. Uh, when, once we're fighting on even footing, our deck is going to be a lot better than theirs because all of our cards are just good or they, they are answers for their cards um, while they have a bunch of like cascade spells that don't do anything. So uh, when, while there's a Teferi in play, we are most likely going to be winning basically. So I do like the uh, the idea of just like jamming four Teferis and basically forcing the game to slow down to... Uh, to fight in our terms where we have the chance of winning. Uh, the only problem with that is that the, their stupid deck can go off on turn 1 and 2. Because of their possibility of taking what, uh, to going, turn off, uh, going off on turn 1 and 2, you're going to see that I'm playing the full playset of forces, I'm playing spell pierces, and I'm playing main deck Aether Gust, mana leak, and two remands. Okay? The idea being I want to have a bunch of uh, different ways to... Uh, this is a villain deck? No, it's not. <laughs> right now, this is the good guy. I'm sorry, utterly milked, but we are the good guys now. Uh, as 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 we're, as weird and as crazy as that seems, this is the good guys. Um, so yeah, growth spiral as as ways to ramp again. We want to get ahead on mana so we can we can fight uh, better. Uh, in the stack, uh, which is again the only place where I think that you can realistically fight the Valky decks and, and and be winning is on the stack. I don't think that discard spells are are the way to fight and I and th that kind of stuff. I think that the the only real way to fight the Valky decks is on the stack. Uh, then we have our win conditions in Jason Mouse called Tour de Fairy and one copy of Our Promise. Uh, in the list that I five owed with on Monday, I was playing a couple of Primeval Titans. Um, that might be nice. I still like the concept of Primeval Titan simply being a non-forceable win condition. Um, but I wanted to try something different for today. So instead of uh, the two prime times, I added one hour of promise on the second Jason Mouse Sculptor. We're going to see if this works. Maybe it doesn't. I honestly don't know. We're, we're going to figure it out together. Uh, the sideboard, I made a change. I don't know what I cut, but I added a Shark Typhoon. The idea for Shark Typhoon is that it's good against my opponents, uh, the fairies. Uh, if, if we look at our deck list, we don't really have that many answers to a uh, resolve the fairy ourselves. So uh, usually we want to fight uh, against the fairies on the stack, and once they are resolved, we're basically going to be answering them in a very inefficient way, be it cryptic command, be it the fairy, or being it somehow being able to attack with Uro. So we're not going to really have an easy time dealing with the fairy. So a Shark Typhoon helps there, and it's also like a serviceable card that we can bring against uh, stuff like uh, Taxes deck, 
decks, uh, humans, etc. Like it, all of the decks where we want to cut our forces and we want to cut our spell pierces, our remains and mana leaks, etc. So uh, we're gonna see how this goes. But uh, yeah, this this looks like the color combo that I that I am the most interested in. Hello, if we don't look at what the new set does to modern, what do you think about Udo Ben? And do you hope other cards get the hammer too? Sorry if you already have talked about this. Uh, no, I mean, I haven't, I literally just went live, so no, I have not talked about this. Uh, I think that Udo had a long time coming. I think that Udo should have been banned months ago. I think that this card is very unhealthy for the format. The play patterns that it creates are just absolutely miserable and extremely snowbally for a very minimal cost because the card. The front side, even though it's not great, it's like it's not terrible either. And the back side is just basically free. And some decks kind of can't beat an Uro, be it because the life gain is important against uh, something like Burn or whatever, or uh, because the, the card advantage it creates for free, uh, at, at literally no mana investment, is uh, too tough to come back from. So I think that very few decks don't care about the Uro. What's up, River Quebec? Thank you for the prime sub. Welcome back for the third month in a row. Hell yeah, indeed. But yeah, um, and the other card that I hope that gets banned is uh, Devolt's Trickery. I just think it's very unfun. If it were for me, I would significantly just straight up change the the modern battle list. Uh, we're waiting a lot because, as you can see, usually we have like a thousand plus, like maybe 1100, maybe 1200 players in the modern queues. But right now, because the format is absolute shit and it's it's literally a dead format, um, we actually have uh, about half the amount of uh, players that we have under normal circumstances. So that's why our wait our waiting times are definitely going to be longer than usual. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, keep this hand. I'm gonna be looking forward to hitting some land drops. <clears throat> but this is an efficient hand overall. We can cast spells. And depending on what, what my opponent is, is doing, we're going to have like reasonable forms of interaction. And even if they don't interact, we still have Growth Spiral. Okay, so they're playing a bullshit deck. Okay, right into it. No waiting. Immediately getting paired against the bullshit deck. Let's see if we can beat it. Why not play Amulet for the heck of it? Because I don't want to throw money down the down the drain. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a good idea. Amulet is zero percent against this deck. You cannot beat this deck. You can't. Like it, that's not a thing that you can do. The deck Amulet Titan cannot beat this deck under any circumstances. There's no way you can build a deck in order to beat this deck. There's no cards that you can add to your deck. Uh, you will lose 100%. If you play 500 matches, you will lose 500 matches. My schedule says Thursday is amulet. Yeah, my schedule doesn't doesn't take into account uh, it, bad formats. Uh, I kind of want to counter this. Like this is just very good value for them. And I don't want them to like it, it just puts a 2 2 and it puts a, maybe even a couple of 2 1s into play, which I really don't want to happen. Um, not a bad draw. We'd love to see some land drops, but I'm not upset to see either Gust. Now, I put this to be playing the Junt version. Violent Outwards uh, resolves. I 
I guess I'm gonna grow Spiral first. Jace. Because now we can pitch the Jace to the Force. Because we know we're missing our land drop, so... Your creatures get plus one, plus one, plus one, plus oh, opponent. Land. Land is good. So now we can just hard cast force if we want to. That's it, I'm out. PC nerds. I mean, I I would expect that. Blaze it. <laughs> like, I literally would, ex would expect people to want to leave. But again, like this format is just awful. I am playing it because somehow people apparently still watch, but like I'm, I'm not particularly excited about it. Like I think the format is just bad. <sighs> what do we do here? I think it's too risky to to play Udo here. I want to have at least either cost mana. Is opponent on the list that turns into Titan Valakut plus board? I don't know. I think they're just they're playing the list that is just like jaunt basically, like mid range style. Just gonna counter the season pyro. And draw a card. Again, I want to hit my land drop so I can Udo and then be holding up Aether Gust. That's my goal here. Uh, that's not the land I was looking for. Clean Sur, thank you for the follow. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, we could get back Mana Leak here. Uh, let's get back. Uh, yeah, actually, I want to get back Mana Leak now that I think about it because uh, we can use it to counter and we can next turn play uh, play the Uro from the yard to stabilize and then have Mana Leak up. If they have another BVE, that's a problem because we're going to have to gust it, which would suck. This is 7 damage. We could also just gust the Bone Crusher and then hold up Force of Negation. If my opponent plays another Season Power Master, we dealt with two of them so far. I think I'm going to gust this the um, Bone Crusher. We can still force a Valky. Note how many cards we're, we're having to use to deal with what my opponent is doing. They are the ones that move to, to six, and they also got two for one themselves with gemstone caverns. And we're still like struggling to keep up with what they're doing. Like this, this deck is fucking insane. Like it's just so above rate. So above rate is not even funny. Bye bye, Udo. Yeah. All right, Uro. Take it home. Two, three, four, five. We need a land. Please, any land. Ugh. So if they have another, they have... We could just be dead here. <laughs> we could just fucking lose here. That's how ridiculous this deck is. If my opponent has another Violent Outburst or Demonic Dread, we are actually in bad shape. Which they have 8 copies of, so it's not particularly strange for them to have it. Mastrum Pulse is not terrible. 
Can't wait for the Cascader. Yeah, this format is just miserable. It is absolute misery. Um, I think I have to bounce the Blood Red Elf. So this means that my opponent cannot kill me and the zombies mean that the Blood Red Elf doesn't kill me either, so... We'll need to make you play Reclaimer, let's Reclaimer before the bans. Oh yeah, I can't wait for Reclaimer, let's Reclaimer. Opponent plays Bone Crusher. Another Force of Negation, okay. Work on Idono for next week. Sounds good. If Anuro gets banned, Titan back on top now. Lots of things need to change for Titan to be back on top. We need to draw any land here. Any land does it. I imagine that does it as well. Uh, thank you for the follow there. I appreciate it. Sorry, I missed missed your name. Alaba Alabama fan. There you go. Well, there isn't a ton of bloodmen back in the format. Is there? I guess Red Black Shadow could pose an issue. I mean, there are different things that go into figuring out when what something is doing to a format. Um, I have an island and another force of negation on top. I am considering path to exile my, my own creature just so I can put something in the graveyard so I can guarantee that I'm gonna be getting Uro here. I think I'm gonna do that. Because the path to exile plus the fetch line gives me Uro mana. I guess it's not Uro mana, it's Uro cards in graveyard, I guess. Um, I could just draw a cryptic though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that we're, we're just in garbage time at this point. Cursed Mage with the Prime Sub. Welcome to the Prime Time Stronghold. First time subscriber. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you think Amulitana should be played in field? Field was banned. Um, yes, I think that uh, uh, Amulet can still be played if field is banned. I think Green White Reclaimer can't, but. Okay, we win here. Uh, do we want to attack? One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So technically, yeah, we, we can attack. We can throw a zombie B 
because my opponent can't get through anyway, so we just start closing the game. Without field, will Titan continue with its drive vehicle plan or will it be faster mode toolbox? I imagine that we will continue with the drive vehicle plan. Their second bullet is on the bottom of the deck. We also have a force of negation and we have a cryptic command. So I wasn't particularly concerned about that. So we're playing against the Junt version of the deck, which is a, probably a little bit better for us than the than the other version, than the, the blue version. We don't have to bring Veil of Summer in this matchup, in the other matchup I would. Uh, but I mean, I'm kind of interested in bringing in Cryptic Command. Eh, Supreme Verdict, I don't know why I say Cryptic Command, I mean Supreme Verdict. Um, the Madman actually did it, no prime time in this deck, yeah I know. I would promise it's half a prime time, so honorary prime time over here. Honorary prime time. We are on the draw here. I kind of don't like Deafening Silence, if I'm being honest, because Blood Bread Elf, it, it kind of sucks against Blood Bread Elf. Definitely gonna have the needles. Also, my opponent's playing a deck with Blood Moons and Magus of the Moons and stuff like that, so. King Rusher. This is much of a prime time as Cavalier of Thorns is a ritual, that's true. You would know about Cavalier of Thorns. They just be being to Balky and your silent feels crap, yeah. Um, this hand can interact on turn one and on turns one and two, which is concerning. It has good late game, we have access to the fairy. But we die to a Blood Moon effect. I think I'm gonna keep it. But I'm gonna lead on Misty Rainforest, I think, because I want to play around uh, Blood Moon effect. They play like eight Blood Moon effects or something. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great, great draw. So now we can go uh, fetch an island here, fetch a forest here. Um, and we have like an answer to, to Blood Moon. You know, Modern is dead when a two mana T-Bolt plays Walker is dominated in the meta game. Uh, I mean, it's not A, it's 8, right? That's why. <laughs> That's what makes it so good. Um, cool. Yay! Isn't this fun, chat? Isn't Modern fun? Fairy and Blood Moon. We can gust this right now. Which is what I probably have to do. My opponent's probably gonna play the fairy and then we probably can't win anymore. The fact that they flipped the fairy is just so bad for us. Cyborg needs more commandeer. I mean I have four forces and I have spell beers and there's only so many cards that I can play. And it's still not enough, right? <laughs> it is still not enough. Um, missing land drops too. We can technically make it to five mana, and then we can use cryptic to bounce this. 
but now my opponent gets to put another Valky into play. I would expect them to Blood Moon here. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Hand is not bad. We get force, we get purge. My opponent is on the play. Do I have to fetch for a basic planes? I might have to actually. Hands on the back, considering he doesn't have commandeer. Well, no hands gonna have commandeer, so I, I, I don't. I honestly don't know what you want me to say. At least they two for one themselves to find the blood moon. Which we can bounce, we can purge. We really need to hit all land drops though. I don't know what's going on. We're playing 28 lands. Seasoned Pyromancer. That one sucks. I don't want to give them black mana, so I'm just going to purge the Seasoned Pyro here. Slow down their, their clock. Give me a land. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Haven't played standard since Oath of the Gatewatch, but looking at the decks and goldfish just makes me want to play it again. The lowest deck, control, black. That sounds like heaven. Uh, honestly, like standard seems better than most other formats, in my opinion. Um... If they have Violent Outburst, we are in bad shape. They didn't have Blood Braid. I have to assume they have Violent Outburst, right? Like, they don't know, right? Like, they, they drew two of the Season Pyro, and these are unknown cards. So it's not... But they didn't do anything for their turn. I think I'm just going to pass. Well, I guess if they had if they had outburst, they would have done it on my upkeep, though. Yeah. Okay. I I should have I should have Teferi there. That was a mistake. Land, please. Okay. Okay. I think we're gonna chill here, holding up counter magic. Um, we just chase here, right? We do have fours. Yeah, we just draw three. I'm gonna hide the Uros in case my opponent has uh, Valky. Blood Raid could be problematic, but we beat everything else very likely. There's Sudo. Yeah, 
Now we can uh, take care of the Blood Moon on the step. And then untap on the war thing. Second Blood Moon. Now we draw to play land. I mean, we could just plus and hold up. Yeah, I, I think I like that. So we're just going to plus the fairy and I'm just going to our promise and my opponent's sense step and we're just going to kill them with zombies. Um, put this on top, put this on top. I play my land already. Keep wondering why you keep tapping out. Then I remember that the fairy has text. Oh yeah, uh, we we we're we're covered with force of negation. And now blood ray doesn't do anything, etc. Valky, the god of lies. So they can have an Uro, but I don't care, right? We just bounce the Valky with the fairy, <laughs> and then we play our Uro. So they can have a 6-6, six, six, and then it's gonna go back to being in their hand. Leyline of the Void. Another tapped out, two cards left in hand. Um... Back perch. Okay. We are officially garbage time. What do we want to draw? Let's draw another purge, I guess. This is indeed the time of the garbage. I don't know why my opponent is not conceding. All right. 
One for one. Let's do this. Um, Uh, where can we put this? We can put it on the bottom there. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That's very tiny. How about that? Ram, you're not gonna see Titan action until... Oh wow, we're playing against Spike. <laughs> um, I'm telling him that I know that he's in Shadow and I'm just letting him know that I'm on band control. Uh, yeah, this hands is great against Shadow. Did I see that Uru is getting banned? Yes. But in the meantime, we gotta do what we gotta do. Wanna play Magic, but I don't wanna play with bans happening soon. And two, I'm awful limited, it seems. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens, Morgan. Um, Limited is great though. I've been having way too much fun with Limited. It might be prudent. Why would I test other cards? Like I, I cannot test bad. I cannot play bad cards because I can't win if I do that, right? So I am, and that's why I didn't want to play Modern. But it seems like people still want to see Modern anyway. Um, but the issue is that I don't want to. Like, it doesn't make sense to test. Like, playing modern doesn't make any sense. Like, there's gonna be bannings, and the format is terrible, but, like, people still wanna see it, so. Have 3,500 channel points in this match, so please lose. Okay, I'll do my best. Um, I think I actually won the Udo because I think that gaining the life is important to prevent uh, Scorch from coming down. Uh, we can top deck. Um, we can top deck our promise here. We should put us in a solid spot. Arcanist. Uh, sure. <clears throat> okay, so against Shadow, we like Purges, we like Supreme Verdict, we like Explosives, I said Supreme Verdict, there we go, and I don't like Romance, I don't like Pierce, obviously, I don't like Forces, though I have to play around Boil, so I'm gonna leave in a couple of Forces, uh, either Gust is weird... I kind of want it, and I don't want it at the same time. I mean, again, they do have... What's his name, though? 
do you think will be the best decks after Urban? If you haven't answered this question a million times, like I, I don't know what they're doing. Like it's really, it's really tough to answer that question when I don't know what they're doing. Like, are they just banning Uro? Are they banning Uro on Field of the Dead? Are they banning Uro and Mystic Sanctuary? Are they banning, uh, like they're banning Trickery? Are they banning, are they uh, changing the rules for how Cascade works? Like, if I don't have the answer to all of those questions, like make it, attempting to make anything, it's just worthless. How does it feel to be a paid actor, friend? Uh, it's, it feels good. I wish I, I got paid, paid more, but it's okay. I'll take it. It's definitely dope to see two Medusa Twitch Titans added from the both sides. That that's awesome, C4. Yeah, I always have a, uh, I always enjoy it a lot when when I get to see like two streamers fight against each other. You get to see both both times. Really for you, friend, I got 20k spike points riding on this match. Wow, people are really betting on this one, huh? Uh people are really betting on this one. Devs Jad with the raid. Thank you so much. Um Notably, no Blood Moon. So since there's no Blood Moon, I think I actually like this hand an okay amount. Please don't ban Field of Dead. I've only had my two copies for a couple, uh, for a couple of months and haven't played it yet. Yeah, I know. Bannings are are always tough. Bannings are always tough. Arcanist. We're gonna get a Temple Garden. Not sure what we're killing just yet. And that's why Wizards is so hesitant about um, about this kind of stuff, right? It's precisely because, like, the cost is just huge. The cost is absolutely massive. Ha! Huh. That's what we're doing, are we? White land would be great, excellent. So this means that we get to Udo, gain some life, make sure we have our white source ready to go. Like Boyle is Boyle isn't even good here. Spike gets to draw his card. Then we deal with this Swift Spear. We deal with this Laura, sorry. I think I'm getting the planes here. I could get fa Hallowed Fountain. I'm kind of scared about Boil though. I guess I should have gotten Hallowed Fountain actually because like now I can't get Uruvak. Fairy. If he wants to take my growth file up, that's probably fine with me. If he has boil, he's probably gonna take the force. He did take the growth spiral. So he probably has to attack the fairy here. And if we draw any land, we get we get our Uro back. Croxa.
I am pretty scared of boil, not gonna lie. That really sucks. So they're gonna get back Croxa this turn. They, the good thing is that if they do that, they don't get I don't get uh, I don't get boiled. We have to wrath here though. With what's his name gone? With Lurus gone, I just have to get my two for one. All of these cards except field up in Valky decks. Uh, some Valky decks are playing field. Some Valky decks are playing field. Down to two he goes. I do have one draw step to find any blue or green source. Any blue or green source, or any answer to this Croxa. If I had gotten Hallowed Fountain, we win this game very easily, which is brutal. I was playing around Boil when I got got by, by doing so. Feels bad when that happens. Play around the card and then get punished for doing so. Crooksa versus Uro just as intended, yeah. Do we have time? Probably don't have time. <laughs> what? Because he took one damage and then we both lost half of our life. Oh wow! Why, Spike? Why did Spike do that? Why did he do that? I guess he was trying to. He was trying to take. He was trying to take uh, red. He was trying to take exactly this as an out. So like, I think that the concept was smart. Like the idea was smart to try to take um, to take fetch lands as an out or shock lands. So I can't uh, draw Udo into removal spell. Like fetch land into Udo into removal spell. Um, but yeah, I guess he didn't count the Sunbaked Canyon. Well, that's pretty funny. <laughs> That's uh, that's an interesting way to end that, I guess. It says rounded up, so he thought he would stay at one. No, but it's just weird, right? Because it says rounded up, but um, like you lose life rounded up, right? So it's it's very counterintuitive in how it actually works. The life loss is what's rounded up, not the life total that you end up in. So it is pretty weird. That's that's wild. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's just weird. Like you would assume what? Round it up. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna stay at one. But in reality it's not. You're losing life rounded up. So like it, it makes sense, but it's just very it's just very counterintuitive. Is there a clip? Uh I don't know. Maybe somebody clipped it. We're playing against is this Mattia Ritzi? Another streamer, by the way. So he kicked a Scourge at two life, but one of his lands was a Sunbaked Canyon. So because of the Sunbaked Canyon, he went down to one and then and then he died because of the 
of the trigger. It's like the rock, paper, scissors mental thing where the last word you hear is scissor. In this case, up. So you are more inclined to pick scissors in this case, thinking your life total is higher. Yeah, it may be something like that. Another shadow deck. Oh no, never mind. Um, there's there's no lures revealed. So it is not a shadow deck. Am I supposed to play around Blood Moon here? In the blind? There's no way, right? I could have played Temple Garden Tap there because um, in case I draw Growth Spiral exactly. Ritzy is TI-93, I think. Okay, so this is TI-88. Good to know. <laughs> That's confusing. <laughs> um... Opponent aggro taking my Teferis and aggro missing their land drops. Um, well, I guess this was a mistake though, because now I, I'm not going to have Cryptic on turn three. My opponent's missing some serious land drops out there. It's interesting how aggressively they went after my Teferis. Maybe they're playing like a control deck or something. Modern is not a dead format. Um, no, that's wrong. Like it's it's literally a dead format. It is literally the format because like we know that Udo is getting banned, but we can play Udo, and we know that something has to be done about the about the Valky deck, but like we just don't know when that's gonna happen and we don't know that kind of stuff, so um it is a dead format. An actually dead format. So I think end step I'm just gonna if my opponent doesn't do anything, I'm just gonna bounce their land and draw. And then we can bid back the cryptic next turn. Street race. So they are playing Shadow. So it, it's probably Grixis, and that's why. Yeah, that has to be it. This is just Grixis Shadow. Which explains why my opponent went so aggressively after the Teferis. Little do they know that we're playing Mono Teferis over here. Am I just bouncing their land? I really want to bounce their land. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that. Return target permanent to its owner's hand and draw a card. Owner's hand, draw a card. We bounce their blue source, so they can't counter anything. We'll let the Grumag resolve, and then we Teferi bounce it. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is hilarious. Yeah, I love this. Sure. We can also just Uro. With my opponent milling cling to dust there. We leave the cryptic in the air. Yeah, okay. Let's just do it all. Excited for the revenge just so it can return years from now on. The article will say Uro has escaped the ban list. Green, green, blue, Uro. One, two, three, four, five. If we find any on top land, that would be awesome. I feel like I'm putting Cryptic back on top anyway. If 
feel like I have to go in my room and stand in the, cor in the dark corner reflecting on my mistakes after the response. Maybe you should. <laughs> you've been you've been bad, Baleful Strix. Wanted to say again, your limited content has been about. Oh, thank you, Common Sense. I appreciate it. Happy to hear that you've been enjoying the the limited stuff. I think we're gonna get pushed with. Hmm. So we untap, you say. This resolves we win. So that's nice. Stubborn denial. Uh, we just force this bounce shadow. They die. Okay. I got you at six opponent. Is that correct? Got you at six. <clears throat> Purges, thank you very much. Be no, uh, actually, I do want that, yeah. Uh, Veil of Summer. Dispute. Not so sure about dispute. Shark Typhoon is really interesting. I think I don't want the sharks. Will you play after the bans? Again, I don't know what's getting banned. I don't know when it's getting banned, so I can't really answer that question. Hopefully, I'll play some Amulet or Green White again. But I don't know. Like, I don't know what changes are going to happen. Assuming they ban something in the Teal decks, I think the format will be back to a healthy spot. I, again, I it, it's just Uro doesn't do it. Uh, I'm assuming they're gonna fix the cascades, uh, the cascade interaction, and then we're gonna go back to just being infested with uh, uh, Tibal decks, like the um, Tibal Strickery decks, which is gonna be super annoying, and it's probably gonna mean that we can't really play Amulet, but like it's a lot more adaptable, so we may be able to do something about it. Giant Shadow is different from Grixis Shadow. Yeah, great observation. How surprised would you be if Teferi got an X? And would you be happy about it? I think it, Teferi is 0% to get the X. So that's not a particularly not a particularly interesting question, I don't think. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. Uh, Modern has many problems and Teferi is not one of them. <laughs> Teferi is very much not one of Modern's problems. It's unfun. Uh, if you want to ban cards based on unfun play patterns, I have a list of at least five cards that are less fun than Teferi. Tibalt's Trickery, Neoform, any card from the Upsol Spells deck, Belcher, and Simeon Spirit Guide. All of those cards are less fun than the Fairy. So banning the Fairy and not banning any of those, I think, makes no sense. Neoform is super fun when you use Fairy. Yeah, like, whatever. Grace or Brand or, like, whatever you want. Uh, but, like, something from the Neoform deck. Put Bloodman in the mix. Yeah, but like Bloodman has a purpose, right? Like the fairy doesn't really. We're gonna have double white. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna get Hello Fountain here. Is my opponent a minuser? Are you a minuser opponent? Yep. Yes, you are. Just gonna get our 
cantrip on. I mean, I guess we may have to do uh, EE on three. Mostly because we have answers to everything else. Yeah, my opponent just... They're not making good plays. Maybe stupid. Should I be cracking packs for limited wins or selling them? Uh, are you going to... First of all, are you playing in MTGO? I'm assuming yes, because you're talking about selling. So, uh, which is something that you cannot do in Magic Arena. So I'm assuming that you're talking about that. Um, after taking that into consideration, you probably want to um, consider whether you're going to continue playing or not. So if you're if you're planning on continue drafting, then you probably want to use those packs to join more drafts or sealed or whatever. What is just playing Ashio control over there? Shadow. Path Shadow. I basically just really want to use my mana here. That sucks. That sucks. Oh, we might probably have having Snapcasters and Ugrimaya Anglers in their deck. They should be doing something else. They didn't... This card, they do, didn't have a counter spell last turn, so I'm assuming this is gonna be good, and it is. I can get back Uro next turn. This seems better to me. Disdainful stroke. Now that's a card I didn't expect to see. Um, well. Do I want to draw a Veil of Summer? Would I rather draw something else? I could just draw any card. Yeah, I guess I'm just drawing anything. And I guess I'd rather leave a uh, Purge in my graveyard in case my opponent has another Ashiok or whatever. You can use one packs for future drafts. Uh, yeah, you can use packs uh, to play to join more drafts. So I guess I'm gonna draw first. See what we pick up. Oh, sure. We're gonna see what my opponent does here. You probably can't block, and then on upkeep, we purge that thing. This enables their Fatal Push for the turn, but I don't think my opponent's going to leave in Fatal Push in this matchup, so... 3 and 0. Have I broken the format? Question mark, question mark, question mark. 
Is the fairy time raveler the only answer to Tibalt? Is Uro the hero we don't deserve? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Get that clickbait, yep. Yeah. Brooke it basically play no by list modern, yep. Deck's broken. Can't lose. The deck that beats the Tibalt decks and the decks that people are playing to beat Tibalt. Easy. Boom. One deck to rule them all, one list to find them, one Uru to bring them all. I need the welcome by <laughs> one bracket find them. <laughs> oh, that's just that's good stuff. That is just good stuff. You're on the sky now, man. I'm assuming that my opponent's playing Dido's deck. Dido has actually been doing well with a Yorion Omnath nonsense deck. G Wagon, thank you for the follow. Um, so. I'm assuming we're playing a pseudo mirror of sorts. This hand is fine in the mirror. My opponent does have access to Yorion though. Oh, okay, Yorion taxes. Unclear whether that's better or worse for us. Depends on how busted their, their hand is. So what's the deal with the battle list and rule change? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm not in charge of that. I wish I were. Things would look very different if, if that were the case. Born in shocks. Udo. Huh. So something on Twitter and I was super confused. Um, what did you see on Twitter? My opponent can cryptic bounce my Teferi, but I guess technically they could be playing a Skyclave deck, so maybe I should have I should have minus to get a card out of it. Do you know when you just say something and whatever you literally just say is just gets turned into into reality? Feels bad when that happens. Okay, so my opponent's playing some like Ice Fan Quaddles over there, 100%. Can path this, get a 3 3, make sure the fairy chills here. We can minus if we need to. It's nice against Squeller.
Was that your first faction that they back? No, we played against Tybalt earlier today. Round one, we played against John Falky. Try saying my opponent might concede here, maybe it'll work. <laughs> it developed a rotation that there is going to be a new Urban across Historic to Legacy. Yeah, G Wagon, like that it was something weird that happened yesterday. It was just posted in a in a weird announcement of the fairy. Nah. It's better if we don't do that. Three, yeah. Funny he messed up kicking in Skyclave. I've only killed a few opponents in limited by kicking it. What? Oh, yeah. The <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's funny. Yeah, it's 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 weird. It's it's weird text. My opponent's just like, nah, you're fine. I don't need your... Opponents can't cast spells this turn. Well, now I'm freaked out. Okay. Venser. So am I putting two for one themselves to bounce my Deferi? I guess that's cool. I'm probably gonna cryptic anything here. Yep, definitely cryptic in that one. No, thank you. One, two, three, four, five. They could have Mana Leak. Do I play around Mana Leak? I don't play around Mana Leak, do I? Yeah, we don't play around Mana Leak. Maybe this person before they try to set up a loop with Ewid and Selen so you can't play anything. It's cute. Doesn't seem very good, but it's kind of cute. A block. Just don't think I want to path that Venser. Life total is basically infinite. Eighteen or seven million is basically the same. This smells like a spike kind of thing. It is pretty spikyish. Not sure how I feel about it. Got a nice little lot of cryptic thing going on here. So this cryptic is probably gonna lock things up. I'm just gonna cryptic counterbounce. I wish.
establish the cryptic lock. Back to saving lives with like a little respect. Th thank you, thank you, common sense. Appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out today. Green, 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 blue, blue, Uda. Draw cryptic, play land, draw another card. Get in there, illusion token. Get in there. Spell Pierce is not looking great, but like we can pitch it to force, I guess. You know I have a cryptic in hand, opponent. What do you expect is gonna happen? Yeah, that one resolves. <laughs> that one's good. He's loose. It's a way to put it. The fairy gets attacked for three. You got me. So they have to jump. Udo is such a stupid card. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be sad to see it go. We could minus three the fairy and win. Yeah. We could. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. I don't understand why my opponent insists on playing this game. Let's go, opponent, let's go, just pack it in. I could have also cryptic tapped, like there was a million things I could have done there, but it just didn't matter. Shark sounds great here. Pierce, not really. Gust, obviously. It's eh, I guess Gust is not the worst. I like Ashiok. I kind of dig Dispute as well. They have their own Teferis, they have Uros. And they also have a bunch of um, Netherworks as well. I think I'm gonna go with this. I don't think I want Gustos. They have too many threats that uh, that uh, Gust doesn't answer. Sense seventeen. Okay. Keep. 
Turn one dork. Please to ferry me. Pog. The one of dispute, baby. The one of dispute. Uh, we brought we brought in verdict, didn't we? I forgot to bring in verdict. Whoops. Damn it. Yeah, verdict should be in my deck. <laughs> verdict should definitely be in my deck right now. Damn it. Spell Queller, probably. Nope. No Queller. I guess I really kept a hand tanking on that Deferi Resolving. Banking, not tanking. I don't think they should have Queller for Mand. Uh, okay. Guess we play around Ashiok just in case. We do have the Teferi Slayer too, which is nice. We're holding up four mana right now. Interesting. Well, if you want to cryptic this one, be my guest. They don't want to cryptic that one. Ice Fan Resolves. They really need to hit the land drops over there. Otherwise, this is not going to be a close game. And if we draw like a baby Tef, this, this game is effectively over. Okay, they did hit the land drop. So we, we, do, have, we do have a game going on here. Very sad that I didn't bring in my <laughs> my stupid um, my stupid guy. This from being verdict. One, two, three, four, five. Typhoon. Blocks. Got him. I imagine they're gonna get back to F.
but not play the Teferi. I guess it's free to do this one first. They probably have one counter account. Yeah, they definitely do. Um, thank you for the follow, Dacian. Dasain. Dasain. Would have been awesome to find it fairy at any point. I would have been the big hitter. Here comes there to fairy. Gonna attempt to counter draw. They're gonna counter back. Veil of Summer. That's a lot worse than countering back. That's a lot worse than countering back. We do get to draw a card though. So we can cryptic tap here. Remember when I didn't minus my Ashiok chat? Remember when I did not minus my Ashiok? That's that's very good. So they have to chomp with the quad. I guess we trade with the quad. I guess. Or not? They just throw away noble hierarch. Find another land. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to minus here. Do I minus target them or do I minus target myself? I think I want to minus target myself. Because I can't have my opponent uh, reusing Eternal Witness. I guess I can actually target them. Like, I already have enough stuff in the graveyard, and I do want to draw this Cryptic. So we're going to target them. But I can't let the Silence be sitting there with my opponent having access to Eternal Witness. So they're going to need another silence here in order to be able to do anything. <sighs> that Veil of Summer was devastating, as it often is. What 
What's this? That's a three mana two two. We're okay with that one. Do they have another silence? They don't. Well, double creatures draw a card. Delay. Double creatures draw a card. Femorite their dude. Fairy down, more zombies, and I guess I path the Eternal Witness now? I guess that we see what they target with the Ephemerate. They're gonna target the Eternal Witness. What do we get got by? No, yeah, we're, I'm just gonna do this right now. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So they, if they, they, they're gonna be able to Yorion here if they want to, but it seems kind of fine with me that we get to Jace. We get to <clears throat> Udo. Why can't they update before the weekend? Seriously, nobody will want to play this weekend. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, that's bad for us. Because they get back to the fairy now. And they have ephemerate up. Our opponent's deck is doing stuff, I have to say. Please don't have another silence. That sucks. So they're gonna block with the Skyclave and the Ice Fang. And then they're gonna use Ephemerate again. I think we may be locked here, actually. Now they can get back Ephemerate and then get back Silence. It's pretty gross. How is the time on clock? Uh, we're four minutes ahead. Yeah, delay is pretty solid when you combo it with Baby Tef. So this cryptic is probably just not gonna be a thing. Gonna get silenced again. I guess our best draw is uh, fetch land. Trade there. Because a fetch I guess that our best draw is the second field of the deck. 
that's it. So our best draw is second field of the dead, and our second best draw is um, a fetch land. Oh wow! <laughs> My opponent's going deep. Now it's all coming together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. N now it's starting to make sense. Again, we still have cards that do stuff that matters. Again, Field of the Dead would be the best. Field of the Dead would be the best and Fetchlands. Kind of a weird art for Eternal Witness. At least my opponent is consistent because the other ones are also like that. Feels like Veil of Summer was the story of this game. Feels like Veil of Summer was the story of this game. And it was very good. The god is making an appearance. 6-6 six, six, god. <gasps> Did you answer? Okay. You got me. I don't think I'm supposed to play my own veils, though. They don't seem to have cryptics in their deck. At least I haven't seen one just yet. So I'd probably assume that they don't have cryptic. Sure. We're off of Titan now. I like it, just hard band control. Yeah, I know. I know, Band Wedge, I know. I'm trying different things out, basically. This version is just straight up band control. I guess I don't want to remand this because of the fairy. Any land? Sick. Your turn. Mm. 
This whole world card you're running seems pretty strong. It's been all right. It's been all right. Still need, needs more testing, but it's it. I've been liking what I've been seeing so far. No, the fairy is big. No, the fairy is big. I'm an idiot. I had to get Temple Garden. Whoops. Mistakes were made. Liking what I see, liking what I see. Big punt. Uh, we should be getting two zombies here, but I do think I'm gonna be hitting my land drops thanks to Jay, so I'm just gonna do this here. Maybe we should have put remand on top before brainstorming. We know they have remand. Soul Herder seems fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They should have shocked for sure. They should have shocked for sure. One second. the window um they have remand so I have to watch out for that One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get from me, opponent. Both a Jace. I think I'm letting Jace go now, holding up force of negation. This sucks if they have remand or something, but like it's not really much I can do about it. Veil vale would also be kind of devastating. 
Gross. Yeah. Bale is just so fucking good here. Maybe I should have just pathed the soul herder. Maybe I should have passed the soul herder there. Wow, am I gonna lose this game? I think I'm gonna lose this game. I think I'm gonna lose this game. They don't have mana to turn a witness into time warp just yet. But if they have silence, we're in a lot of trouble. Probably should have attacked with the Ice Fang there. Yeah, my opponent should have attacked with the Ice Fang there. There's no reason to let me untap with the Fairy here. Don't have silence. Kind of dodge a big bullet there. Five. I think I'm just going to play... Play land first, and we're gonna play explosives on three. Kind of getting owned here. Two, three, four, five. Gain some life, draw some cards, path some dudes, F6, some F6s. <laughs> We're down in Uro, which is a big deal. Don't time warp me, bro. They're gonna time warp me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Remand. So what's the plan here? I guess I want to attack first here. We attack the fairy. Opponent chumps, trades, trades. This means that they only have white enabled. Or white available, I mean. So now we're going to... 
two, three, four, we jace, we brainstorm. It's not bad. That's not bad. So we go top top and then we can minus We if we minus on their Teferi, our Teferi dies, but we can hold up Cryptic. And we can draw into Force of Negation off of the Cryptic. Ashiok also seems very interesting on this board, because I can get a bunch of their stuff. And it seems important to get a bunch of their stuff. So we could Growth Spiral into Ashiok. Yeah, I guess that's the play. Then we plus here. Draw. Fetch Island, Ashiok, and I think I'm minus on them. The reason for minusing on them is that I actually want to get rid of um, the time warps, potentially. Like, that seems like the only way that I lose this game is if my opponent just time warp locks me. After chase. So even if they have like they need they need time warp. Even silence doesn't really do it anymore. It has to be time warp. Also, they are they're at nine. So, blue, blue, one, blue, tap, return target permanent apple creatures. This one on top, plus one, two, one, Two. Wanna play the H? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, Nashiok. I want to mail those lands, so. Udo. Turn target permanent, draw a card. Oh, <laughs> double creatures. Oh, wow. I fucked. I fucked up. I fucked up big time there. Damn it. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, we still get to do the thing. Wow. Return target permanent top all creatures. Okay, that's that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> we were fine until now. We were fine until now. Ooh. 
we're gonna fight over this because we can't really fight over anything else. So So they're gonna exile Jace, which is fine, because we have lethal on board. So I guess we win this one. Yeah, sweet. 4 0! Even though I kind of play like shit there towards the end. Um, but yeah. Interesting deck my opponent had going on there. But this being the deck in the, the best deck in the format, you know, of course. It's been a long leak though. Two hours for four matches. And even one of those matches ended up in a fairly abrupt fashion with <laughs> with Spike just killing himself out of nowhere when, when he had a, a basically one game. I do think that we were probably pretty advantaged in the matchup anyway. Ooh, playing against another 4-0 player. Well, this hand is excellent against the Tibalt deck, so I'm gonna keep it. Hoping I get I get rewarded. Land. Mr. Surrey coming back with the tier one sub. Seven months as a member of the Primetime Stronghold. Celebrating the Euro ban. Big time. Fuck Udo. Yeah, Spike is gonna have to change his emote apparently. Sentinel. At this point, I think I have to fight over the Lord. Killing their dudes is just not gonna do anything. I need to fight over their collective companies and their lords. Pierce that shit. Get it out of here. Super happy we're able to get value from Pierce in this matchup where we're not very likely to get value from Pierce. We're not in good shape. We're going to need to do some very heavy lifting, but... I'm probably remanding anything because I need to hit my land drop. Um, well, with them floating more mana and they tapping like this, I think I'm gonna let that go. Company. I kind of want to remand this and then... If we remand, my opponent recasts it again, and we can force it. We can also just gust this. Like it's definitely not resolving. That that's the easy part. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna remand here. Sweet. So I'm gonna need Udo to win this game. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pitch the Sailor Gust. And if my opponent has another company, we're fucked. 
but I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna need Nuro to win this game, so. And we can do next turn. It's a lot of damage. Am I just dead? I think I may just be dead. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five. So if I path the two two, we we take six, and then we take one two three, one two three four. So I guess if we do this, we're not dead. Six down to six. Oh no, we are dead. Never mind. Yeah, we are actually dead. All right. Explosives, verdict, gusts. Maybe it remains okay on the play. Yeah, I was looking really good recently. Yeah, I mean, it's one of the decks that... One of the ways to, to attack the T-Ball deck is uh, with Elves, right? Because you can go wide. Also, let's... Let, my, my opponent's hand was definitely on very much on the high end of elves hands right like they had turn one dude into turn three vomit my hand into turn two vomit my hand into turn three double company like their hand was on the very very high end like there's many things that can fail that can i, I did play a fair amount of elves right after summer bloom was banned and missing land drops and getting your one drop answered is one of the ways that you lose um Drawing one too many land is oftentimes lethal, or not drawing enough dorks and drawing a bunch of uh, high-end spells is another way to lose. So, like, a lot of things need to go well for you to win with elves, and my opponent's hand, like, did everything. While I lost a land draft, like, if we, if I had actually been able to Udo into into hold a path on the turn before, we would have been in, significant, in significantly better shape, right? Um... Yeah, we're gonna go to five. I guess we keep this. We're gonna need a ref. Definitely gonna need a ref here to come back. Or for my opponent to have a bad hand, or a medium hand, at least. But if they have a hand like the one they had in the previous game, we're going to lose this one. Oh, this guy, yeah. This one is, is pretty impressive. So I guess I'm going to bounce that with... With the fairy. Again, I just need to gain time. And I can't have my opponent playing a bunch of shit for the top of his deck. This also kind of forces my opponent to attack the Teferi here, which hopefully yields me a little bit more time as well. Archdruid. We're not gonna play the explosives, we're gonna wait until my opponent throws a bunch of elves into play and then we're gonna have to get a, a mini for one. Just trading one for one is not gonna be enough. I need more than that. We're hoping to dodge my opponent going too off here. 
We can beat them going a little bit off, but we cannot have them go too off. They whiffed. Okay. Can we draw a verdict off the top? Because that would be awesome. Verdict! Right here. Teferi. Uh, well, just E on three, I guess. And we have to crack it right now because I can't let my opponent tap with a million mana. We can get Uro back next turn, which isn't nothing. We are at a healthy 19. Company, it's bad. That's right, this guy creates a creates a dude. Damn. Those are some pretty solid tools for the yellow stack. Um okay, so Wrath or Bust basically. Wrath or Bust. Wrath or Bust? Wrath or Gust, I guess. <laughs> Um, yeah, this lets us live because they can't play it and also activate it. So we need to feed Uro first. Green, green, blue, blue. We go up to 11. Another gusto. We have to gust main face here. Opponent can put it back on top. We block here, take one, two, three, four, five, six. Cast Thoughtseize, you got it. They bought on the War Master, by the way. They should take the Fairy here, probably. So we have to draw Cryptic Command or Verdict. Cryptic Command or Verdict is what I'm looking for. Suicide Attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah, we have to attack, I think. They block. Interesting. So I guess that now I'm not facing lethal. Okay. All right, Udo. Shine for me, baby. Shine for me, baby. Uh, I don't think I'm... Am I gusting this? 
I think I'm gusting this actually. Now, because now I have Path to Exile. F. We take Xaxes. We take the Xaxes, Chad. Wow. Yeah, probably weren't getting there anyway, but... Yeah, my opponent's hand was very, very good. Yeah, they really earned that trophy. That was that looked very impressive. Also, we moved to five. That didn't help, but this deck seems seems pretty strong to me, actually. This deck seems pretty pretty strong. Um, that's gonna be it for this one. This ended up going a little bit late, but hope you hopefully you enjoyed it. Nice little league with dead deck in dead format. Uh, but this deck is strong. I'm going to play another one, I think. But uh, that's going to be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. All right.